So this, boys and girls, is the LG T385. It's a mini touchscreen feature phone from 2012, made to look out, made out to look like a smartphone, though it's not really. It runs something called Brew OS, and well, I don't know what that is, but anyway, I can have a look at this interesting looking slab of a phone, and here it is. Here's the inside, and I don't know if it's mildly interesting or not, but it's still the type of phone which had a removable battery and the typical layout. So let's just plug the battery in, like so. Put the rear cover on. Now this is typically an LG design and it's sort of uh, similar, uh, it has design elements similar to the LG Optimus of which I made a review and I'll put a link here so you can see that as well. Let's try to turn this thing on. So, yeah, and I remember the power button is on top here. So let's see if this thing works. It should in theory because I charged it up and for all intents and purposes it's a functioning phone and it seems to be working. Just give it a few moments. This might take a while since it's an old feature phone. These things are not known for being rapid. The animation logo is nice enough I guess even for today let alone for 2012. Uh, let's speak about the display a bit. It's a TFT 256,000 color LCD screen with 3.2 inch diagonal and a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels, which is not bad for the time. It's not good either, but it's not bad at that. So let's see if we can get into the menu or how we can get into the menu. These are just phone numbers. Uh, and yeah there it is so here's the camera and let's just for the sake of it take a look at the camera this is a 2 megapixel single camera though it has a QCIF camera on the front the results are not half bad for 2012 at least now there's also Wi-Fi Bluetooth and other bits of connectivity um, though not that much, it's just a basic feature phone made out to look made out to look like a smartphone and actually to be easy, easily usable to, I don't know, to the elderly, to the not so tech savvy uh, person out there. So yeah. Is it uh, anything uh, interesting? Does it have any redeeming features? Well, except for the generic looking but sleek design, I would say no. It's made out of plastic. This is the, pl the bezels are plastic. Everything's plastic. Though the feel of the thing, let me try to lock it up so I can, so I could try to, <laughs> to manhandle it a bit. I'll just turn it off. So not a lot of redeeming features of this phone. It does flex quite a bit in the hand, though it doesn't creak all that much. I don't know if you're able to see this through the camera, but a bit of uh, curvature happens here in the middle. There's a jackpot on top and the design language of the LG products of the time is quite familiar. Uh, this plastic cover on the back though it feels quite nice and it's it's very grippy and I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not really impressed by this device though I find it quite interesting uh, at the, uh, the very least. So that brings me to my last point this thing is not really a collectible item and it's not really a premium feeling item so not so much a conversation starter uh, um, 
however it might be interesting for the odd LG phone fan out there so if you're an LG fan I die hard aficionado whatever I guess this thing should be right up your your alley in terms of value I couldn't pronounce myself whether this thing is worth anything or not uh, seeing as this is a good example I would say it should be worth around 10 euros yeah, I don't know if that's a relevant information for anybody or not but don't be fooled into paying overpaying for one of these things so I guess that's the the quick revisit of the LG 3 T385 model thanks for watching and remember I buy hoard and collect but sometimes borrow weird and quirky obsolete tech stuff so you don't have to see you in the next one bye bye